Hi everyone, it's MJ and I'm making this video for the actuarial students who are writing the financial specialist exam. But I thought, let me post it on YouTube because you guys can also maybe benefit from it. And I wanted to make a video on some of the books I'd recommend you read if you want to write the actuarial specialist exam in finance. And I guess also if you want to do the fellowship exam, because at the end of the day, the best study advice I can give you for these financial exams is to read a lot. So you want to start reading a lot. Um, it's kind of like the early actuarial subjects, you know, you're doing a lot of maths and that kind of stuff. When you get to finance, you definitely want to read as wide as possible because there are so many different opinions um, and theories when it comes to finance. So what I would say is, I mean, these books by DK are such a great way to introduce a subject. And especially if you want to do finance, I mean, at the end of the day, finance is a social technology. So it's worthwhile having a little bit of a background on sociology and the study of societies. Um, businesses are people who probably, yeah, organizations who use uh, finance the most. So also good to have a good background knowledge on them. Although if you're doing actuarial exams, you probably will have enough of that as well as with economics. So we do do economics in first year and that kind of stuff, but it's always good to just brush up on some of the, the basic things. So. These are the three books from DK that I would recommend reading to get a little bit of an overview. And then, I mean, yeah, I'll just show you some of the books here. This is one, I mean, I read this when I was still at school. Um, and it was, it's a bit of a dangerous book to read in isolation because you read this book and then you think you can play the stock market. Um, and it's not as simple as, as yeah, Buffett's daughter-in-law um, makes it out to be, but it was a great way to introduce financial statements. So it's a nice book to to get, in, um, I guess you're yeah, interested in the whole thing of accounting. And then this book is, it's a bit heavy. It's, it's a bit of a, I wouldn't recommend it being the first book you read. Um, it's written by this guy called Robert J. Schiller. And on my way to, to Wits, I would listen to his lectures on behavioral economics. And he was giving it at a time when the 2008, 2007 uh, recession was happening. And it was kind of like, you know, he was talking through Lehman Brothers and the whole thing. Anyway, so he wrote this book, um, was a difficult read, but it's it's an amazing conclusion. This how human psychology drives the economy, um, why it matters for global capitalism. And he would go on to win a Nobel Prize in economics in 2013. And he has written a book quite recently. So I haven't read it though, but just based on, on Robert J. Schiller being such a great guy, it's probably a good one to, to read as, as well. Um, and then, you know, the reason why you want to read a lot of, of different books is because you got Jeremy J. Siegel. Um, if I'm correct, he manages a lot of the, the funds for Yale University and he's been incredibly successful, but he's very much of the opinion that, you know, stocks are the best asset out there. And like I said, this is why you want to read as many different authors as possible because they have their own bias. They have their own agendas that they put forward. And it's only by reading a you know wide variety of different authors that you can start to formulate your, your own opinion. So there's some other books here that I don't have because they're on my dad's bookshelf. Um, the one is called The Ascent of Finance by uh, Niall Ferguson. He's, I think he, I don't think he's uh, at Harvard anymore, but he was a professor at Harvard. And The Ascent of Finance, or The Ascent of Money, uh, the BBC even turned it into a documentary. So you can actually go and watch that. It's probably a little bit more entertaining. Um, you can watch that and that gives you quite a nice history of, of finance and then I mean if you're a little bit of a history nerd like me you can then read up on history and see the role that finance has played um, and you know how it swayed wars and, and all that crazy kind of thing so like I said the big trick when it comes to finance is to read because once you've read a lot you can then start to think and these exams definitely require a lot more thinking than just simply you know doing the mathematics which we kind of did um, in yeah, before before yeah before you you finish university, there's a lot of maths that you have to do to, I guess, form the back uh, or the foundation for actuarial science. But after that, you can then start pushing on. And I mean, maybe I'll end off with this: is enterprise risk management uh, by James Lamb, as well as financial enterprise risk management. This is for another actuarial specialist subject. Um, but this one and the financial one go very much hand in hand. And there's quite a lot of financial models and other things inside here. So 
it's quite a nice combination to do. And if you are, if you have read all the financial literature, which I doubt you will do, uh, but if you do, then it's worth maybe dabbling in a little bit of financial risk management and seeing how that all ties together. Anyway, let me end off this video. And yeah, these are just a few books that I recommend that you start reading, but the more books is the better. So read as much as you can, especially if you wanna to go to the financial fellowship, um, you're gonna to need to do that.